Good morning, skiers and riders. Sugar Loaf and Carabasset Valley. Time to take a check of your latest local forecast and trail conditions report. You can find this and much more on all your internet devices at WSKITV.com, including much more like our live quad cam shots so you can see exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain in real time. Well, for today, we started the morning off with some snow, an inch or so of accumulation, but that's changed over to a mixed precip and will eventually just be some showers this afternoon. Very high winds across the hill, so be aware of that. And summit temperatures getting into the upper 30s, base temperatures in the upper 20s. So be aware of those changing conditions and that wind could affect lifts as well. Tuesday, we're looking at partly sunny skies. It'll cool down. Those snowmakers get back out there. High of 26 degrees down at the base, and we'll see a west-northwest wind. Uh, noticeable up towards the top of the mountain. Not too bad down here around the base. For Wednesday, we could see some afternoon uh, snow showers out there. High of 25 degrees. Thursday, partly sunny skies. A high of 23. And Friday, a chance of some snow showers with a high of 27. So good temperatures for snowmaking throughout the rest of the week. As you can see there, they'll get out there and hit it hard. Hard. We're looking at uh, variable conditions out there for snow services. We'll start out with Machine Groomed. Birchwood Interior is bringing you this trail report. Check them out in Village West. 18 trails to ski and ride on. All of those groomed out. Four lifts getting into those runs. And here are the lifts at 8.30. Skidway, Super Quad, and Skyline. And at 9 a.m., Timberline is scheduled to run, winds and weather permitting. But there's a good chance those upper lifts will not run because of the weather today. Last night, they did some snowmaking on Hayburner, as well as the spill, uh, Spillway and Birches. They'll resume as temps permit on Tuesday. Grooming on Sluice, Lower Winter's Way, Gin Pole, The Landing, Narrow Gauge, Candyside, King's Landing, Tote Road, Lower Timberline, and Peavy. And that terrain park got some work as well. Uh, the fat bike trails were in great shape. We get a little bit of snow on the trails uh, overnight last night and then that mixed precip. So just be aware once things get warm uh, and soften up, you may want to stay off the trails until it freezes up again. Uh, Carabasa Valley is mostly Penobscot Indian Nation land and they want us to stay off it for the time being. So please respect that. Anti-Gravity Complex, a great place for indoor activities. They open up from 6 to 10 and then 3 to 9 uh, uh, for the day on Monday. So go down there and check that place out. And if you're looking for some breakfast, a uh, quick lunch, or some Carabasa coffee, check out Delis right on Main Street in the village here at Sugarloaf. And then down at the Sugarloaf Inn, the Shipyard Brewhouse is back open. Um, make uh, your plans to check out their Two for Tuesday tomorrow. Just $30 plus half price off select bottles of wine. So that makes for a great evening down at the Shipyard Brewhouse at the Sugarloaf Inn. And check us out. you got to check out our live quad cam shot. That will show you exactly what's happening at the base of the mountain so you can make your plans and know before you go. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well as WSKITV.com and you can check out our YouTube channel as well for our latest local content.